Oh my God, this is such a mess. How do I get her back on? I'm like this, like what in the world? Don't do that again. Just stay there. No, I didn't do it. You did it. Okay. Now we're fine. Everybody just put their phones away and everybody just enjoy the, mo the moment. Wait, they put their phones away. They put their phones away. Then the I mean, like, like for me, I didn't do it. So anyway, let's have a shot to heal. Wait, can, can you, wait, wait. Okay. First of all. I need another shot. Whew. Did you guys happen to notice how Vicky fucked it all up and then said she did nothing? That's why I, 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 I tried to get the thing Can you understand up. how naive and I did. she is? I did disconnect to try to reconnect and it didn't work. It was my fault. Okay, anyways, let's get back on the subject lines about what you have. Okay, okay. So we were never have I ever. Have you ever been kicked out of a bar? I was in Miami with you. Oh, were we kicked out? Yes, because we were yelling at Kelly. Oh, oh yeah, we were. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had a one night stand? Yes. You have? Uh-huh. With who? Do you remember? Well, there's too many to count. I mean, I didn't have that. Well, I, I, I've been, Spending so many times in Puerto Vallarta, a single girl, yes. Okay. Have you gotten a fist fight? Never. I have. Um, of course you have. Have you ever taken anything illegal across the border? No. No? I don't ever want to get arrested. Okay, so no, you've never. Have you ever had sex on an airplane? No. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. No. Nothing. Either have I. Either have I. Okay, tell me the first thing that comes to your mind when I name off these people. Are you okay? You got this? I'm good. Okay, Andy Cohen. Okay. He plays it safe with everybody. Okay. Right? Ramona. Ramona. Big eyes. She thinks she found at the housewives, and she didn't. Okay. I did. Okay. Um, Kyle Richards. Kind of vanilla. I, I mean, I, I knew you were going to say I that. I don't see any conflict. I don't see it. Like, I just see her, like, playing the safe lane always. But she right? still got her million-dollar paycheck. Yes, um, she Kelly, does. Kelly Dodd. Uh, completely unpredictable. She can be the kindest, best friend in the whole wide world. The next thing you know, she slashes her throat. Right. Um, Somebody said snooze. We are not a snooze. You need to have a cocktail and stop being mean. And if you don't like it, then go, go, go. Who are you talking to? Somebody just said we're, we're snoozers. Okay, well, there's what? We no. didn't do anything to Shannon. Somebody oh just said, what are we, so who says psycho? Why are you saying psycho? Don't be mean. Okay, 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 listen. Okay, Mimi. Queen Kelly Dodd. Um, oh. Okay, why do you focus on the negative? Yes, queen, the girl that went on and flipped people off. And right, she's a queen. That everybody, they're gonna, right. they're gonna weed out the weak and kill off the yeah. herd. Like, yeah, okay, yeah, she's cool. Yeah. Don't, you need to stop paying attention. I'm, I'm to looking anything. at the mean people. I don't like, if you don't like us, then just like, bye -bye. okay, okay, listen, don't concentrate on the negative. Everybody be happy. Okay, okay. Anybody, <laughs> I'm afraid to ask. Hi, Ryan. Conversation. Conversation. My son in law just joined. Hi, Ryan. How are my boys? Twice been 
about trying to call him, but I can't talk to him right now. Tell him I love him so much. Okay, let's let's play another game. Okay. <laughs> What is that music? It's my Cinco de Mayo music. Okay. Let's play a game called Spilling the Tequila. Ooh. Okay. Tell me something that happened on the show that wasn't aired. Because you know what? We, we film like hundreds and hundreds of hours of stuff. So and much. some of it gets scrapped. Some of it gets aired. Some of it gets edited. Is there anything that comes to, there's one thing that comes to mind for me that happened that never got aired. And I'm, I'm willing to share it with you. Okay, go. Okay, do you remember, I mean, this was years ago. Do you remember when Lizzie got fired? In, in the garage. Shannon, in Shannon's garage. Mm -hmm. Yes. So basically what happened was we had an all housewife event we were at Shannon's house. She was back then even serving us frozen shit to eat, right? I know, I don't and, like frozen food. Right, I don't eat frozen food. But anyways, so we ate this frozen shit. And then we all went to Mastro's, which was right outside her gates, and Lizzie never made it. And we were there, and Heather was there, and we were all partying, having a good time. And then we got a, a text message going, I can't believe you guys are having I know. fun and partying. I just, I, I know she got demoted because she wasn't performing. I know, I know. And that yeah. was so sad because I thought like, oh my gosh, people can get fired from this fun job. Like I didn't really. Well, I evidently never... they had had a talk with her telling her like, if you don't bring it or you don't. That's when more. she thought she was pregnant when she really didn't think she was pregnant. So I Well, I mean, and that's the whole thing about new people. They like to create shit or make things up. And it, the, you know what I always say, like the camera doesn't lie. Okay. Because they had 14 years watching us and they have to try to figure out how to stay on. Let's I talk, never, okay, I never so let's talk off. about, let's talk about Key West. Do you remember what happened in Key West that was never shown? Do you remember? Or last night we were out, we went on a booze cruise. Oh. Oh, when Shannon got so mad at, well, there's a lot of things that happened, but when Shannon got so mad at the producers. Yes. Okay, so mad. And they never aired that. But then they aired when I got mad at the producers when they set me up at the reunion. Okay, so the, our last night in Key West, Shannon, we, we had our last, usually our last night on our trip is usually this fabulous night. Where our last night was, um, do I need lipstick too? Our last night was like kind of like a booze cruise. It wasn't private. It was amongst a bunch of different but people. A lot of people we didn't even know, which was very weird. We didn't know, which was kind of weird. And I get it. And I thought it was weird. She went fucking ballistic. Ballistic. Screaming and yelling at the producer. And I'm like, stop. People were filming her. Stop. Mm -hmm. It was so bad that she didn't even, you don't even see her the entire time as the last trip because she was in the other room screaming at the producer. I know they, that, they kept her on and it's just they, like- They made I, her so... come out to take a picture of us with the sunset and then she was back. And then remember she came back and she's like, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm seasick. Yeah. I'm seasick. No. That, yeah. that, sho that was shocking. I, I, Cause they're, I consider them the bosses and like I, I didn't know. make anybody mad at me. Yeah. So. so one of my things was, you know, one of my worst seasons was Bali. Bali was a fucking worst I'm never ever. gonna see me again! You're never gonna see me again! You and your nope. shoes, you threw them in the pool. I'm like, bye bye, bitch. Like, no, no. I, I threw my Louboutins at the producer as I was running I out. I couldn't run fast enough away. So, the truth of the matter was, is that in my personal life, I was going through a custody battle with my ex husband. Devastating. I couldn't even sleep. I was a mess. And I always say, when you're at the worst part of your life, you should not be on the show because they will fuck you a hundred times over. So they knew that emotionally. Yeah, imagine children watching the show. Shh, 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 and they'll after like, shh, shh, shh. So, so I was in Bali. I remember we were in the pool off camera and I was talking to some of the new girls that were on the show. And I think it was some girl named Danielle. Danielle and Lizzie. Lizzie. Was there another one? I can't remember. And so I, I told them, I said, listen, girls, this is our, back then our trip was like one of the last things we filmed. I said, Huge. you guys don't bring it at the trip. You're not going to be asked back. Like you right. guys are so vanilla. Right. You're not going to be asked back. So Heather and I go to the rice fields alone and let everybody together. Right. And when that happened, 
I came back and I noticed that everybody was being very icy to me. So I asked the producer at the time, Chris Cullen, I said, what's going on? I left, everybody was good, what's going on? He goes, it's nothing you can't handle. And I went in there and Shannon, everybody was going after me. Well, because, I would, because, because you me. don't know, what you don't know is I was at the pool and Danielle and Lizzie and Shannon started telling me all this bad stuff that you yeah. were saying behind my back. Which I wasn't. Yeah. So at that time, I was sitting with the girl, trying to help these girls out that were so, that ended up getting fired anyways. They were so vanilla telling them like, girls, you need to bring it. You can't be just quiet like wallflowers sitting there. You've got to be vocal. And then little did I know that it was going to backfire in my face. So that was probably one of the worst trips in my entire life because I ended up flying home alone by myself in my room crying so bad because Heather was the only one that came to my defense. You, What are you doing now? You're like a fucking toddler. You really are. You really are. <laughs> I'm cleaning my camera because somebody said I was blurry and I never want to be blurry. Is oh it better? God. Oh my God. Okay, let's just, let's not talk about the show anymore. Let's talk about our future. So, um, let me talk about me first. <laughs> no, talk about you. No, let's so, talk about you. We always talk about you. Not really. I kind of am getting shy as I get older. Like, I really don't talk a lot about me. Probably because I don't see you anymore. I haven't seen anybody but Steve with his beard. Every day. <laughs> beard. So let me ask you a question. With everything that's going on, everybody's taking financial hits. I'm taking financial hits with my Cut Fitness. Vina's doing extremely well, but Cut is still, I mean, we're not open. What is the best thing you can do financially for yourself right now? Spend less. And hopefully you have had a savings that you can rely on. That's why I'm a big believer. You and I have talked about this many times. When you're making money, you save it. You don't spend it because you don't know when things like this are going to happen. So, who, do you, who do you think has the biggest savings account on the cast? Current cast? We're not on the current cast. I mean, like last year's cast. Who do you think has the, the biggest savings account? Do I count as last year because I was a yes, 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 yes. I would say you and I. I mean, I, I don't know exactly what the numbers are, but I think we're, you know, I've got asset, a lot of assets um, and I got a lot of savings. So yeah. this, this, this COVID has hurt my business. Absolutely. I can't see my clients face to face. But the good news is I, you know, my mortgage is getting paid. And I, I save, yeah. I, I yeah. save my money. And, um, I'm not a big spender. I don't have anything new. Um, even when I was making my big monies at Bravo, I didn't, you and I didn't spend. I mean, no, we bought our cute shoes and our nice purses and our stuff like that, but it wasn't like I went out and bought a bigger house or I, right. you know, I actually downsized my car when I was last year. Like I, I want to retire one day and I want to have an opportunity to live a really nice life. So I don't know, but the, my business had suffered. Um, but I've got so many different entities that I, it's not just, just like you, I'm not, I don't have just one leg of the stool. I've got my podcast. And by the way, if you haven't tuned into the podcast, make sure you go to whoop it up with Vicky, give me five stars and like it. Cause the more people that like it, the more advertisers that will come in that I can keep doing it. So, yeah. um, anyway, it's a, it's a slow start, but we're, we're happy. We got over a hundred thousand downloads in the first two or three weeks. So super happy about that. Um, and we're doing it like once, once a week now from the house, which is very exciting, but I st I'm going to the office now. I am I did, for the last two weeks. I've gone in. One of my girls is in the front. I'm in my office. Linda's in her office. She came back today for the first day. Um, but I, I have so many business things that I'm always doing. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I say. Like both of us have multiple streams of income. Don't just plant your feet in one place. You got to right, right, right. have your toes in different parts of the sand. Yeah, yeah, which which most of the housewives do not do. Well, and they count on the housewives' salary. And as you and I know, we never would have predicted that we would have gotten fired. Drink up I to that. I got fired. I got demoted. Well, I got an opportunity to come back as a friend, and the answer was no. So cheers to that. So, yeah. but the good news is. You're not done with us yet. No, the no. viewers and the listeners are going to be seeing us. Super no. excited about our new project, right, Tamara? Yeah, we are super excited about our new project. However, we're on hold right now, like everything else is, and which is kind of discouraging because 
we were, were on hold. Moving. We were already filming and everything, and now we're like on hold. So I know, but, but we got more time to come back with um, really creative things that we're working on. So I'm super excited about that. Yeah. And you got your a Venus EBD, and you I do. Your and I just want to say, like, um, I own Venus EBD, as you guys know. I post about it all the time. Right now, we're having a buy one get one free for Mother's Day. If you haven't tried CBD, now's a great time to try it because you get one for free. And we also have a thirty day money back. If you don't like it, send it back to us. It's just that easy. We're so confident in our product that if you don't like it, super proud we'll of you. Back. Yeah. So some people have been asking about Gina, so let's just do a little. Oh, uh, Gina! Yes, I absolutely love Gina. I'm, I'm not. Really, no, I no. I was talking. They were asking about. Ago. They were asking about Gina Kia. Oh, so yeah, we're going to yeah. do a little, a little, a little memory for Gina. She just uh, yeah. went to Florida, and Matt died uh, a couple of days ago, and her grandson died. Um, a month I mean, it's just so, absolutely devastating. So is she able to go to Florida to get? She just money? left. Yeah. So. Oh, she did. Um, so anyway, just. Keep her in your thoughts and prayers. And Carl yeah. you know, lost her dad and her son within four weeks and bless their hearts, you know, and just. Do we, love know, do we um, know what happened with Matt? Did he have a heart attack? Or well, they're doing an autopsy, but you know, he had a brain injury when he was a football player. So. No, he was a um, baseball player. That too. Football, baseball, they end with a ball, you know, it's like baseball. He worked for the A's. He played for the A's and then he played for the Cubs and then the Angels and he got hit in the head when he was in the dugout. And then yeah. um, through his years, he's had a little bit of a drinking problem. So we don't really know. He was, he had a place in Elisa Viejo. And at the end of the day, it just is very, very sad. He was only 64. Um, so poor Cara, you know, poor Gina, poor Cara, poor, yeah. poor the whole Keo. So just uh, lift him up in prayer if you can. But you were talking about the other Gina, Gina oh, K. Yes. Yes. And Gina K is, I haven't seen her since I stopped filming. I see her. We used to play tennis before all this was happening once a week. Um, I love Gina. I feel like she's a no shit girl that just says it like it is. And um, yeah, I saw her three days ago at Cut Fitness. She had bought some equipment from us that we were selling, a barbell. She's getting back into fitness. Uh, Travis, her boyfriend, is amazing. He's so, they're, they're just so in love good. and so good for each other. It just makes me so happy. Good. Yeah. Love is good. Yes. I love being in love. love. I do. I love even love. If, even if he has a beard? Ugh. He's just doing it to bug me now. Yes. Yes. I know. Okay, Vic, I'm going to go. I think Let's talk about Emily Simpson. Oh, is it Simpson or Sim Sim Simpson? Is it Emily Simpson? I never got to know her very well. Lucky you. Um, she wasn't friends with anybody, right? Just like Brown Wind wasn't friends with anybody. And yeah. I mean, I knew her. I had talked to her years ago, but I that's was right. You are the one that brought her on. No, I, di I honestly, I didn't. I didn't. I hadn't talked to her in years. She, she came to me like she did many of the housewives in the past, trying to get them. She told me she was a party oh, planner. I hate the people that have to try out. Like, why are you? She told out? me that that she was a party planner. She used to be an attorney. Her that her husband was a um, trust fund kid basically that took care of the kids and she threw parties. She never said she was in the law and like she said she did it years ago. So I knew her, that's what I knew of her. That was it. Somebody asked if Emily is divorced. Is she divorced? Oh, I don't know. I have Brown no Wynn is very crazy and Brown Wynn was a closet watcher and she didn't know any of us. And then she came out and she's like, I don't like you. I have a bad feeling about you. I'm like, who are you? Yeah, she, <laughs> she played that one wrong with you. She kind of, um, I don't know. Whatever. I don't want to talk shit on anybody. I'm done. What? That is who you are. I don't. I just don't want to like. I, I like so many people come on the show and they are fans of the show and it doesn't make for a good housewife ever. Like bring somebody on. But the problem is the show's been on for so long that they should, they should everybody not has, have watched. TV. So it's hard to come on the show with no expectations. Steve. And so Steve and Eddie never watched the show, so they didn't even know who we were, which was my criteria. I Wait, did not want somebody to have looked at me on the show and thought this way about me. I wanted them to just know me for who I am. Okay. Well, Eddie had never watched the show. He thought that he was going to meet Eva. On, Eva That's what I said. Before. Yeah, yeah. So anyways. Okay, I'm super tired. Okay, play your music right now because I'm very, very thirsty.
Play okay. the music, girls. Okay. I love you. I got to go. I got shit to do. No, hang on. It's not time yet. Oh, my God. It's time. We were, we were supposed to be one hour with our friends. Well, it's been an hour, hasn't it? It's been 40 minutes. It's got like 20 more to go. But the most important thing is you have to play the music. Okay. Wait, I got to turn my computer back on. Wait, where are you going right now? You were supposed to have an hour with me. Yeah. Tell me, where are you going? Why are you going somewhere? Okay, I got, I got rejuvenated. Okay, good. We can't Thanks. see you while doing that, but you biggest all should regret. be having a little cocktail regret. with us. Biggest or, regret. What's up? What's your biggest regret on the show? Getting fired. Oh my God. That's biggest regret. Um, Brooks? You know what? He was good at, for that snapshot time. But yeah, I, re I regret leaving my husband for him. I do. Okay. Who's up? I got now, so do you talk to him by his accent? Oh, baby, I love you. You're so beautiful. Not good. How's Don't Brianna? fall for it, ladies. Don't fall for it. Brianna's good. This How's week we're going to find she's out. Pregnant. She's, she's pregnant. She's 10 weeks today. And she's going to find out the sex by a blood test. And we'll know next week. Girl, 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 girl. Oh, girl I girl. hope she has a girl, right? But first, health, 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 then girl, girl, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how, how did the boys feel about being having new babies? She said her and Ryan told the boys, and she was a little worried about how they would be reacting, and they were super excited, and they were like, okay, where's, where's the baby going to sleep? And they were, like, very excited. So it was, I think, I haven't seen them yet because they won't let me come and see them. I want to come and see them for Mother's Day. That would be the greatest Mother's Day yeah. for me is to see my family. And so I want to go on a plane and surprise them. And Brianna said, I cannot because of the COVID. I said, well, I'll wear a mask. I'll wear a hazmat suit with an oxygen tank. And I'll have gloves on on the airplane. And I'll look like I'm going scuba diving the entire five hours on the plane. And she said, no. Well, isn't Brianna high risk? She's a nurse. She's at the Yes, but she's the already around everything at the hospital. Can I ask you a question? Uh, so Brianna is a nurse. There's so many things going on in the world right now. Like there's a lot of people saying that this is a scam. The government's trying to control us. Um, it's not true. It's man-made. Um, and then I hear like I have people that that send me messages about Vina asking if their health of anxiety because they're nurses and they've watched three of their um, not castmates. What's it called? Um, workers. Workers. Nurses. Nurses. Yeah. Happy nurses. Nice. Week, by the way, happy nurses for all you nurses out there. Happy nurses. Yeah. So, is, with Brianna being a nurse, what has she told you about being on a front line? Is it busy? Is it crazy? Is there a ton of people? Are people coming in, getting tested? What so is due to, due to HIPAA, she's not allowed. She tells me, but then I can't tell the world. But at the end of the day, uh, there's a lot of hospitals out here that do not have any patients. Every state is different. Orange County, we don't have the amount of people that we thought we were going to. So I just think right now, we don't know what the app is going on. We don't know. I think at the end of the day, we're going to, lots of stuff will be revealed. We do know where it started in Wuhan, China. And then from that, how in one to two months did this entire world shut down? So it makes me want to get into like, Quit work and figure this out because I'm I know it's crazy really because like New York is is bad. It's bad in New York, and then I know. you have like I know. Orange County where you don't have any cases. We can't even go to the beach. Like, what is that? Like, I like going out. I miss going out. It was, but Tim, this I mean, is my heart good. breaks for New York when I hear about New York. New York. It's just heartbreaking. I know, and it's very, 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 very sad. So I think what we've done is we've. What did we do? We curved the curve, or like we flattened the curve. We all stayed inside. I stayed inside for six weeks. I was Steve was the one that went to the grocery store with our mask. With our, um, I just went to the grocery store for the first time this week. Uh, I did That's not good. socialize with anybody. I was a very, okay. very, very Let good. Let me ask you a question. Do you think that it's man-made? The virus is man-made because there's been a lot of talk that 
You know, I listen to all this. My son, Ryan, is a huge Trump supporter. I'm not blaming this on Trump or whatever. I but think there's a lot. He thinks it's a conspiracy theory. It's man-made. We're being controlled by the government. And well, didn't it come from a bat on a stick? I don't know. I mean, do we really know? I think it's a slippery slope talking about this because there's so many different viewpoints. All yeah. we have to say is we as Americans need to keep each other safe and we need to flatten the curve yeah. and we need to get our, get our businesses back open because as a small business owner, you and I, you know, we have eventually have to go back to work, right? So you got, you got a lot of heat a couple of weeks ago because you said that you felt like certain, like, Salons should open. Salons, hairdressers, small business owners, restaurants. Eventually, we have to get back to work. And and I and, it, and being isolated for eight weeks, we are not contagious if we've all done our job. So you you got a lot of shit for saying. I that. know, and I'll say it again. I say on it the again. flip side, as a business owner, when you're a small business owner and you realize like you worked your ass off for like we've had our business seven years, you've had yours thirty years or something you realize like, holy shit, you want to be safe, but you, you know, you also want to save what you've built for so long. The rules so were very clear. Stay isolated in quarantine for eight weeks, six weeks. And if you do that, you are not contagious. So if we did that, all of us were not contagious. Yeah. So it's, it's I don't hard. know. It's, you just don't know I, what to believe. I don't, and I don't know. know how long, I mean, how long do you think this is going to go on for? Forever. I think it's gonna be forever and we're gonna die in our houses. <laughs> do you think do you think it's the end of the world? Well, I mean, I have thought that because if you read the end times, I mean I've read a lot of books about left behind and all the different things, but like it doesn't it doesn't let me just say this, it has it has crossed my mind that this is not I mean, this has never happened in the history of mankind that the entire no, it world. Hasn't. The entire I mean, world. It hasn't, for anybody that I've known in my lifetime, like people, I just know if I'm never going seen anything like this, do if if they, come right up, now, they come up with a vaccine? If they come up with a vaccine, are you going to get it? Probably not. No, I wouldn't either. Probably I don't not. even get the flu shot because, because the stuff that they're healthy, putting in I don't want to inject like, anything into my body. Am I going to get a fucking vaccine? The, no. the stuff that they're putting in you, if you read the things, it's like a cow's tongue. Uh, Anus is something like a dog poop. Like it's all, all this stuff that's not even, why are we injecting that in our body? So I'm probably not going to, but I do think this. I mean, that, is, this a, is this Bill Gates' way of- Oh my God, I don't even want to go there, Tamara. We cannot go there. But I do know if I left this world right now, I've done a good job. I yeah. can't wait to see my parents. I yeah. miss my mom and dad. I'm going to, I'm going to, Go to heaven. I know that. My mom so. had made a comment the other day saying, if this is the end of the world, are you okay? And I went, yeah, I Me am. Too. Because Me too. if you go, we're all going to go. And I'm, I'm so ready. Good. I, I'm ready. ready. To die, but I'm okay with going to heaven. Uh, I'm okay. I you know I raised two great kids. I got two and a half grandbabies. Hey, I'm having a third. I miss my daughter. I uh, miss my son, but I'll see him again. But yeah. I, 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 this life right now, the stress and the anxiety and my tears and the beard, the whole thing is just Is that because stressful. you miss being on the show? You know, Tamara, it's been hard for me. It, the thought of not, not being on anymore really um, has made me sad. I mean, you know, we're in May. This happened in January. So it's losing a job of 15 years. You, and had said, you had said to me that Bethany Frankel had reached out to you mm -hmm. and told you there was like a six month, six months. like, yes. And what did she say exactly? Well, she said, it's like, it's like, you know, a backpack getting off your back, a heavy backpack. And she said, you will be okay. You're going to go through the different stages of grief and sadness and anger but at the end of the day, you're going to be okay. And she gave me a lot of hope that, you know what, there's something else opening for you that you don't even see yet. Right. And it made me feel, feel very okay with this. Because yeah. at the end of the day, like all the girls and boys at Bravo were like, you've been on the longest of anybody. I'm like, it doesn't matter. I want to be on forever till I die. It doesn't matter. You and I joked about being in a walker and like going down the nursing home hall. How we say, do I need Botox? You know, and all but you know what, 
I'm super excited about our future. I am. I'm, I'm so fortunate and happy as you are that we were on the show for 12 years, 14 years for you. I'm super excited about the future because we I already like paved the way and made a name for ourselves. I feel like there's something something different that we're gonna do. Like better. if that doesn't work out, like I'm okay sitting on my goddamn porch in a rock in a, a rocking chair just enjoying my life. Like I love life. I love because well, we've worked so hard. Yep, we've you know? worked so hard. We raised your kids. Yeah. 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 I mean I don't think either one of us are super materialistic people where we have to have, 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 and have status and all that stuff. Like no. my life was good before the show. My life is good after the show. I'm fortunate and happy. And I feel like being on TV for 12 to 14 years is a gift. We didn't go to college. Well, to be Tema, Tema. It was, it was a roll of dice crap shoot. We didn't know what we were getting into. No, no, but no. you know, it was a good ride. And sometimes we're on a really good ride. You don't want to get off the roller coaster you got, but I'm good now. <laughs> I'm good. Now, Somebody asked, somebody asked, how is Billy, your brother, Billy? God, I love Billy. Um, Billy is incredible. He just and his girlfriend bought a place in Venice, Florida. He still has this place in Illinois that just his whole house got flooded when he was in Florida from top to bottom. So he's, um, he's so perfect. He's like the perfect brother. I love him. Billy, if you're listening, I love you, love you, love you. Um, and I just... I'm, I'm so um, blessed to have a really good family. Even yeah. though we're all over the place, we're like a garage sale. We're everywhere now. We got North Carolina. You're Florida, like a Florida. garage sale. I mean, it's like, um, but Billy loves Puerto Vallarta the way I love Puerto Vallarta. And he's super excited about coming to a new place. And I can't wait for you and Eddie to come. Do you think that we're going to, me and you are going to film our new show in your new place in Puerto Vallarta? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's a four bedroom, four bath. Incredible corner view overlooking the whole city, beautiful sunset. So I, you know what? I really, really, really feel like I want to spend more time there. Oh my god! Okay, oh. so somebody just asked, "How is my mom?" My mom broke up with Frank, the pot smoking plumber. Oh. So my mom is now single and she's ready to mingle. She, I saw her the other day. She came over. And she said, because I haven't really heard you, like she's not calling me really late. I'm like, mom, what are you doing with your time? I know you're bored, you're not working, you're sitting at home. She's been talking to men online. And oh God. Like, yes. Tell so, her not to I'm do like, that. That's gonna get her ass into trouble. Careful. Mom, you seriously need to be careful. So my mom is now single. So hit her up on Facebook if you're interested. Your, your mom and my future husband like each other. Oh, they love, my mom loves Steve. My mom said, I would marry that guy in a minute. Oh my God, not with his beard. No, oh, she he doesn't she look the you. same. He doesn't look the same. Oh, he looks good. Don't give him so much shit. I, I, you know what, if I told him I liked the beard, it would be off. Why do people do the opposite of what their spouse wants them because to do? Because that's what guys do. Okay, so uh, somebody asked me about somebody asked me about Ryan. So let me just somebody just asked me about Michael too. So yeah, so ahead. Ryan's doing amazing. He is um, living in kind of the can like Santiago Canyon, like the canyon area. He's working on a ranch with horses. He's obsessed with horses. Obsessed with his daughter. Um, he's just he's living his best life. Good. He's not one of those guys that are super materialistic and what all the, the fancy things in life. He's just a very humble guy. He went through some, you know, emotional yep. high and lows. He didn't want to get divorced. Well, he wasn't really married, but he didn't want to separate from Sarah. He this is very heavy. His daughter. I'm yeah, hurting my head. He wanted to raise his daughter. It didn't work out. Switching my hat. This is very heavy. It's, it's like 100 heavy. pounds on my head. Okay. So somebody asked about Michael. Michael's good. Um, Michael lives in Pacific Beach with Danny. They're Four years now. I thought they broke up. No, they're back together. Oh, good. Okay, so do you think they're going to get married? That likes a little. Michael's bit. not in a big hurry to have marriage and babies. Okay, so somebody just asked me about Eddie's AFib. So Eddie, he's had ten heart procedures, three ablations, the rest were cardioversions. He is a very rare case when it comes to atrial fibrillation, um, and so right now he was supposed to go in to have an implant put in his heart because his left atrial, I might be getting this wrong, appendage stopped working. It's a little area of your heart and 
they had to go in there and inflate. When they go in there and inflate, a lot of times it stops working, which that is the case, stop working. Eddie is supposed to take blood thinners right now. Supposed to, because I say supposed to because he's not always taking them. And until he can get in, because they can't do it right now. Um, later date, as soon as this pandemic stuff is over, he's got to go in, he's got to have an implant in his heart, and the doctor wants to do one last ablation in his appendage just to make sure. Good. Um, just recently, he started having blurry vision in one eye. And he was seeing a weird color in one eye. And I said, babe, are you taking your blood thinners? And he's like, no. And I said, you really want to get a clot? Do you want to have a stroke? Because what happens is that clot can go and have a stroke. So I've been putting a smackdown on him because he doesn't, he's just such a healthy guy. He doesn't want to take any medication. But like, don't be stupid. You know, no. so I said, listen, if you don't take your medication, your blood thinner, and you have a stroke, I'm not wiping your ass. Okay. I'm going to put your ass in the You have to. Let's do a shot. Okay. Here's the so, I mean, so, yes, he, so the short answer is yes, he's doing better, but he's not done. He's not done. Cheers. We need the music, please. Maestro. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> Maestro. My underlay shirt. Oh my God. Okay. So, did you guys like this? We're almost done with our one hour cocktail. Um, Cinco de Mayo. Uh, wish everybody health and much love. Listen to my podcast, Open Up with Vicky, and buy some CBDs. And let's have another tequila night. Okay. I love you guys. So nice. Love you, Tamara. Can't wait to hug you. You too, baby. Maybe you can come over sometime. Well, we're social distancing. I'm not going to do the. Woo, we're... No. We can wear the mask. Okay, cheers. I, have to... <laughs> I don't know how to put this on. It goes around your waist. Oh my God. That's not a mask. That's a vibrator. <laughs> I will see you soon. I love you so love much. You, too. you guys all be safe and let's go whoop it up together when we let's can. Whoop it up. Woo! Oh my God, that hat is so heavy.